Hello everyone, welcome back, Thumbler here, and also welcome back to another day of BKS week. And today we will have an inside look on the usual BKS 88 cylinder I really like to pick, and which I have quite a few of, actually. Um, and we will do that by using this very nice cutaway lock from Multipick, the training cylinder standard MK2-3030. And let me open this up for you. And yeah, it's really a piece of art. Basically, it's just a BKS-88. If you look on this side, you will see somewhat similarities, I guess. <laughs> And then you see this nice machining that Multipack has performed here. And we can insert a key to see the pins moving. And yeah, this is just beautiful. So I really like this, but um, yeah, there's some things you have to keep in mind when, when you're thinking about ordering this from Multipick. And I will put my, my thoughts and... Um, opinions on, on the end of this video, so if you want to hear them, um, follow, listen to the end. Mm. And what I want to do today is I want to explain you how I pick usually these BKS cylinders and therefore this cutaway is just great because you can see my, my pick movement and I can explain you what I'm doing. Mm. The, the channels are cut even in the core so I can really show you everything and I will do that in with two cameras one will film the pins from the side so you have the real inside view and the other one will give you my normal perspective um, from the front so whenever I'm, I'm picking these um, you will see me like this and then you can see in, in how my pick enters the lock and yeah with these two combined I give you hopefully the whole whole picture how to pick these um, I also have recorded two ways of picking these and I will show them one after the other in a moment so enjoy the montage and see you back in a bit for the review so here we are on the back in the vise and yeah just once more it's so beautiful with the key really cool this is how why i love this cutaway so much it just is so beautiful but now insert a tensioner instead of the key and i hope you can see everything and yeah this is how i usually pick the bks um normally the the Pin in the back is standard and then you have key pins, spool, spool and normally then the, the, the standard pin or one of the key pins will bind first because spools, yeah, they are too thin, they will not bind normally. So, or maybe they hide their binding order. So starting off with a thin hook in, in 0.4 millimeter is rather steep and yeah just going in from the top but when you have short key pins in the back you will not be able to to reach those so it's better to move with the pick to the middle and then yeah twist your way on the pin and now you can see uh, a bit it's jiggling so this is a shear line now so now another pin must bind and in this case it's actually pin one the, the thick part of the spool is binding so let me just set this quickly yeah and now pin four is binding one of the t-pins now pin three is binding and now we got a small core movement because we are in the thin parts, binding on the thin parts of the T-pins. And this is often now a ping pong game between one and two, uh, between the two of them. 
So three is now jiggly, but quite a lot. Not like a, not, not a jiggle, like a set pin, but yeah, a T pin. And four was binding. Now it's jiggly like a set pin. And now three is set. Again on four. And again on three. Yeah. And this is always a back and forth, but now you see a big core movement, and this tells you that all the T pins are set and you're bound on a thin spool, which allows this default set. And actually, since we already set pin one, now only pin two must be set. So going in with a medium hook, 0.6. From, and then from the middle of the keyway and just going on to this pin hopefully not dropping anything else but as typical what spools does it we dropped those two here so let's go back to the steeper hook and try to finish them off four then three and yeah we're open. Cool. Yeah, and basically this is how I always pick those and looks rather nice <laughs> in most of the cases. Mm, another thing I want to show you is if you're a bit brave, <laughs> you can also try I mean, we saw before that when picking the, the final spool in, in chamber two, we dropped the T-pins. So the binding order is not really um, from, from back to front or so, but I guess that the spools must be set earlier. So, but they won't bind because, yeah, they're spools. So, yeah, and for this lock, um, you have to set the standard first, which I just did, and then you can set the spool in one, as we did before, but now you can already set the spool in two, and it will stay at shear, so this is also something you can, you can try with these locks, just check if the spools um, will stay at shear maybe, because now you avoid the big fourth set and you avoid dropping the pins in the back if you set them now um, going in from the top I will stay with this medium hook here in 0.6 force in the okay now you see both are jiggly so I must have dropped a spool and yeah exactly two it look doesn't look like it but it was up a bit and now again on the T pins four three and now the pin pong game between the T-pins continues, but there we go. So this is also an approach that you can try just setting the spools first. Maybe that helps you out in your BKS journey. So welcome back after the picking and I hope you liked my tips and maybe it helps someone um, maybe it helps someone to navigate in a tight keyway or actually to open a BKS and especially <laughs> this cutaway maybe as well because um, yeah I see uh, some videos on this log or on this on this product so to say and hardly ever anybody picks it actually like um, yeah you see some ref some reviews and nobody ever picks it um, so I thought I would fill in that gap with my video. <laughs> um, I really like this product, but um, there are also some downsides, but let's start with the good things. As you see, um, it is really well made. The channels are wide open. You can see all the pins. I hope you saw them good on camera as well. And yeah, it's just beautiful made. It is great that they're added grub screws that you can just exchange the pins so quickly. Um, I ordered this actually with more security pins, which is also great. And yeah, very well machined, a very nice lock and a very nice cutaway. 
I really like to have this in my collection and I ordered this very early on in my picking career and yeah, it was a great training tool, but you have to keep in mind it is a super tight keyway. It is not the best lock for beginners and this is mostly my, my greatest downside of this product because yeah, as a beginner you will just be overwhelmed by this very tight keyway. And if you watch videos online, people just go in and push the the pin all the way down just from the bottom. And yeah, this will not be possible with this lock. Even if you have a very steep pick, you will have a hard time just pushing on, on the last pins there because the, the keyway is just so tight. And this will also give you a hard time if you try to ident identify pin states, yeah? Um, like if I attention now with the cam, um, you will not really um, be able to feel the pin states because you will be just focusing on navigating through the keyway, which is a bit tough. But on the other hand, you can always reduce that by just using less pins so it gets easier. Mm. But really, if you get this as a beginner, keep in mind this is a really tight keyway and you will need some time to adjust to that. There are other products from other manufacturers which have a more open keyway, which might be easier to learn where your pick is. Um, for an advanced picker, it is great um, if you use it maybe like in a blind mode then you can start picking the lock and once you are not certain if, if the pin is set you can somewhat lean over and have a look at what the pin is actually doing so i think this is really great for medium to advanced pickers but not really for beginners i would say um, just keep that in mind if, if you're interested in, in ordering product like this. Also what you have to keep in mind it is I like it a lot that they cut also the core so you can see also the, the key pins um, like you can move, see them moving the key pins because other manufacturers just cut away the Bible and you can see only see the pins moving in, in the Bible which is also enough you can learn a lot from from that if you just look on the drivers mm. but here you can see the whole picture and if you're picking that side um, yeah it can happen that your pick will actually go into the cut channel and will slip off the tip of the pin um, and this you will never have in a, in a normal lock or in a cutaway where the core is not cut. So keep that in mind that it might give you a false false uh, pick movement because yeah you will just be able to to move past the pins and this feel, will feel strange maybe. So keep that in mind but besides from that I really like this and yeah I hope you liked the video. Um, if you do so, leave a comment and if you're new here, you can subscribe of course. And yeah, see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.